Okay, getting ready to send 12 downrange, 25 yards, CZ82, 9x18 Makarov. Weapon safe. Go down and check and see how I did. Okay, and I guess as I was counting, it was actually 11. Um, they're all on the paper, all in the green, um, but mostly low. So, you know, I was basically aiming center mass or below because I figured it might go a little high at this range. I'll try another magazine. Hang on. Okay, I'm going hot as soon as the wind dies down there. And it looks like it's about ready to cooperate. And that was 12. Hang on. Okay, out of those 12, all of them are on the paper. But because I was aiming more for uh, the top of the shoulders, uh, the throat area, I actually had a few fly off to the left and one off to the right. But all in all, all 23 on the paper. So I can't complain about the CZ82 with the... Uh, the Makarov 9mm uh, ammo that I also got from ClassicFirearms.com. But now we'll get on to the two that everybody's interested in. That being the M38 and the M44. Hang on. Okay, first up is going to be the M38. I'm going to run down and put up a 4 foot silhouette at 50 yards. Hang on. Okay, first five with uh, the previously unfired by me. M38 open sights. I forgot my uh, clear safety glasses and I can't wear my prescriptions and uh, sight properly. So I'm going to be extra careful. But here goes. Weapon safe. Let's go see how I did. Well, I'll definitely take that right out of the box and after cleaning. Uh, all five on the paper, four eights and a seven. Um, shooting a little high at 50, you know, because I was basically dialed into center mass, but. Uh, I mean, it's within a two-inch group, up a little high and, up, you know, a little bit off to the left, but nothing nothing much. I'll, like I said, I'll take that all day long. So, because I'm having so much fun with that little carbine, and I don't know if you got to see any muzzle flash or not, but I felt a, a, a higher recoil than the longer M9130s. 
but I'm gonna put another five in there because that's a good shooting little weapon I like it hang on all right let's give it a whirl with another five and I'll uh, I'll adjust my sighting and we'll see where I'm at like I said whole lot of fun for not a lot of money Boy, I tell you, I know I saw a muzzle flash. Hope it got caught on film because these things are supposed to be fireball throwers. Hang on. I'll uh, run down and check out the results and let you know. Okay, 50-yard results, all 10 on paper. Um, all 10 can be covered by my outstretched hand. So I'm going to go to 100. And uh, I'm going to zoom in out there, get it focused in. Not going to concentrate on me firing the weapon. Um, I'll probably do 10 before I even go down to check the uh, results. But the first five that I load, I'm going to do one to the gong, everybody's favorite, and then uh, four to center mass at 100 yards. Hang on. Okay, you definitely won't see fireballs from here, but hopefully we'll see that gong swing on the first shot. And then we'll go right to the target. All right, hang on. I couldn't tell if I got the gong, um, and I don't know where I'm at on the target, but uh, I think I'll throw another five down, down at uh, the hundred yard mark because I'm enjoying this carbine so much. Hang on. Yeah, and I grabbed a cheap pair of binoculars out of my uh, truck's glove box, and I still can't tell where I am on the paper. But anyway. I'm going to run another five through there. I'm going to attempt to hit the gong again, but I'm going to leave the camera oriented mainly on the, uh, the silhouette. All right, hang on. And let's see what we shall see.
Boy, glad I didn't have that uh, focused on me shooting because the front bag took a little bit of a uh, muzzle blast. Anyway, I'm going to run down and check and see what I did at 100. And then we'll move on to the M44 with and without bayonet extended. Hang on. Very, very, very happy. All nine of them that I didn't shoot at the uh, gong. Um, like I said, I don't know if I hit the gong or not. But uh, all nine of them are on the silhouette. Seven of them in the green. You know, a little bit of a spread, but keep in mind, you know, I still got, I got cataracts. And uh, I'm doing the best I can. The two that flew off to the left were both less than an inch from either the neck or the head area. So, out of the box, cleaned up to the range for its maiden voyage. I'm a happy guy, man. All right, hang on. The M44 with the bayonet on the side, as opposed to being extended, is going to be up next at 50 yards. All right, a little more live fire. This is my 1944 M44. We're going to shoot five down at uh, 50 yards. Open sights with the bayonet in the retracted position. Let's go! Weapon safe. That little sucker got some kick to it. I figured it wouldn't have as much uh, because it's it's got a heavier heavier barrel and it's got the added weight of the bayonet. But anyway, that was five with them with the uh, bayonet in the retracted position. I'm gonna go down and see what I did, and then we'll throw five down wind with the uh, the bayonet extended. Hang on. Okay, all five in the green, just about the height that I expected based on where I was holding, but they're still carrying, you know, a couple, well, maybe an inch and a half, two inches max to the left, but that's with the bayonet in its fixed position, and these weapons were made to be fired with it extended. So I'm going to load up another stripper clip to close out the day, and uh, we'll extend that bayonet. And hopefully, also, it's getting overcast, so maybe we'll catch a couple of fireballs rolling out at the end of that barrel. What do you think? Hang on. All right, last five of the day. It's been a great day here at uh, Sportsman's Inc., Guilford, Vermont. Great little facility. Um, we're going to do these last five with the bayonet extended. And, again, hopefully we'll get some fireballs. Hang on. Okay, that one developed a little sticky bolt on about the uh, ninth round through it. 
Um, I didn't polish this one's bolt yet, but I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to run down and see uh, what we got left uh, for uh, placement. Hang on. Four eights and a seven. Uh, all of them on the paper. More towards the center with the uh, bayonet extended. So this was definitely sighted in that way as intended. What a day, man. Two great carbines and a CZ82. All three purchased from ClassicFirearms.com, baby. Give them a shout. Go see them. Get some of the good stuff. Later.